Hi there, this is Lori from Stitching It Right. In today's episodes, I'm going to just give you a quick basic introduction to the Singer CG590 sewing machine. And then I'll come back in future episodes and give you some more in-depth information about how to use it. But um, some of these base, especially things like threading it, I will be back to show that. Because I know if, if someone loses their sewing machine manual or if you buy a used machine and you don't have a manual at all, that kind of information is really helpful. So let me just, this is the hand crank over here, the bobbin rewinder, your thread's going to go up here on this horizontal pin, and then the thread guides through around here, here on the front. This lever, let me angle that a little bit, is your, um, it determines the position of the needle. So like right here, it's in the center, here if you want to you need a little bit to the left or to the right. This is the pattern selector. You can choose any of these stitches. And this is the width selector. So like, as you can see in the picture up on zigzag or any of these, if you want a different width, you adjust it with this knob. Um, here is the thread tension set. And over here is the, I forgot its name, let me take a quick look, Stitch Length Dial Four Step Buttonhole Dial. This is the reverse button. And is there any other name to it? Nope, Push Button Reverse. Okay, and then over here it has a drop in bobbin. And it isn't threaded right now. And I will come back and show you that, like I said. This little guy, I forgot its name too. Boy, I'm just forgetful as heck today. Well, come on, brain. One-way needle clamp. Hmm. My brain is giving me nothing, and I do not remember, so I'm going to keep going, but I will come back after I um, wake up a little more and give you more information on that. So, over oh, here at the back. Excuse me. Oh, I'm just batting 100. Ooh, or 1,000, I guess is the word. But here's a little compartment where you can store extra bobbins and needles, little hand tools for your machine, things like that. So for this episode, I'm going to stop right now because I cannot seem to remember anything. But oh, this one, I was going to show you this one. And it is called, oh, you can't even see my finger. I'm so sorry. Stitch balance control. And it's just a little lever that adjusts that. So um, again, I'll come back for more information on all of these. Just wanted to give you a quick introduction to this machine. And um, I know a lot of YouTubers make really long videos, but I thought it might be easier for them um, if I kind of specialized each one and kept it shorter. So if you just need information on how to thread it, you'll be able to come back and look up how to thread the Singer CG. 590 instead of watching 40 minutes of video I'll be able to just do it in a couple minute video so anyway thank you for watching if you want to learn how to sew be sure you um, subscribe and like the channel and check out our website stitching it right club and boy I am stuttery today thank you for watching and I'll be back soon with more information on this machine. And I have some other sewing projects I've been working on I wanted to show too. Thanks for watching. Bye.